Pops, Air Decay, I love you, thank you so much. PB Doughboy, the Geek Demon, uh, I see Yuye who resubscribed, thank you all, and also send a Mega Milk for those 300 bits. Now, without further ado, I want to introduce you to somebody who is definitely not withheld. It's Tina! Tina, come on in! Come chat with us a little bit. How are you doing today? Maybe. Tina? Tina, where are you? Tina! Tina! Okay, I'm, I'm waiting for Tina to show up. I'm sure she will in just a little bit. This game is not something that I've heard of at all. There you are, Tina. Hey, how's it going? Pretty dang well. How about yourself? I'm having a fantastic beginning to a long weekend. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty excited, you know. Uh, Three-day weekend. I don't have to teach on Monday. <laughs> That's even better. Oh, it's so good. It's exactly what I want in life. They did pay me today, though, so that was cool. Okay, everything that you just said is exactly how reality should be. That's that's A+. Plus. Getting paid? You don't have to teach. You're getting paid anyway? Yeah, that's a it's lot. so good. So, Tina, you know what? The, the icing on top of the cake is that we get some bad video games, and you have chosen something that, as far as I can tell, looks pretty amazing. What yeah, is this it? one, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's a game. It's interactive software. Okay, it's Sewer Sam? Yep. So, oh. I did make sure everybody in this group does have experience with Mario games. So, playing the part of a plumber is going to be second nature to everyone. Oh, good. Um, which is very good. It's going to be important. Those skills are going to come into play over the next hour for all of these players. Good, okay. Hopefully they don't, like, get stuck in sewage or anything. I wouldn't want that to happen. Um, so, it's funny you should say that. Oh no. Tina. Gross. I didn't make the game. I mean, yeah, you're right. But still. Still gross. You know, Sewer Sam, he, he's just trying to do his job going through the sewer you know maybe maybe they should give him like better compensation better wage compensation for being this awesome sewer man i think that he gets danger pay you'll see why oh i hope so oh my gosh i remember having to deal with people who wanted hazard pay for stuff it's like okay fine i understand you know it it's a very potentially deadly situation, so we'll go ahead and pay you more. They were fine. Hey, Walla Walla, thank you so much for subbing. I'm just waiting for our last person to go live who is... I thought they were Polterghosts. Maybe they're not? Uh, which of the four do you Or is it have? Jean Genie? Uh, yeah, Jean Genie is fine. I think I'm delusional. What is going on? Your brain's being rotted from playing all of these quality Jean video Genie. games. Yeah. Yeah, it's gone. Liz! Wait, Liz Star is playing? Yes, she is subbing in for somebody who is... I think sick. Uh, somebody Aww. was able to make it, and so Liz is a ghost for us today. Oh, a zombie? Zombie, that's the one. You Z know, the scary yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Liz is welcome to join voice, by the way, if she would like. Oh, I'm being told that I'm a liar. Uh, Kate is telling me Liz is not a zombie. What? No zombie today. Never mind. We do not want Liz in chat, then. Because Liz is going to be duking it out. And actually trying to make progress. Just so I've, if you're new here and you're confused, zombie players usually are players who just fill in in order to uh, fill in a spot when we would normally just have a blank screen. They don't actually affect the game at all, but they're there for our enjoyment because, hey, why not make four people struggle through a video game, you know? 
Ah, I, okay, I see what's up. She just swapped with Poltergeist as opposed to uh, zombieing in for Poltergeist. Aha! That makes sense. That's why I had Poltergeist up at first, but yeah. I'm getting pretty close to being ready. By the way, I don't know if I asked you, but do you know who is doing it? game audio for us? I. So literally everybody said that they would do it, but I believe Gene Genie was the first person to volunteer. In that case, Gene Genie, you are doing audio for us. I like it. Thank you for being decisive there, Tina. I appreciate it. And here we go. Here are your four players. We have Weebubo, Lizstar, Jillian, and Jean Genie. Oh, baby. I'm excited for this. Honestly, whenever there's a video game based off of sewers, it's just fun. Let me see. Yeah, this game is definitely fun. What was that? Oh, this is going to be good. I can already tell. I'm checking to see if Gene Genie can turn okay. the audio up a bit so we can hear the best stuff here. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's some really good audio in this game. Oh, no. Oh, no. Actually, let me see how loud everybody else's is. Oh, there we go. I, I can boost it a little bit on my end. That way we can hear these beautiful sounds here. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. And then turn Tina's sound down a little bit. Just so that everything is a little bit more balanced. Okay, Tina. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, no. I think this is going to be good. Okay, I I believe I'm ready. Well, I hope the players are. They're probably not. Yeah, if, if it comes down to it, I know that one player was worried that the stream might be a little bit choppy for them. That's fine. <laughs> Wee Bubo is just waiting briefly right now, and then as soon as they are ready, we'll go ahead and get rocking on this. Julian and Gene Genie at the bottom right. Okay, did a final check. So, question, what should our chat spam? Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah, oh no, oh no is going to be a good one. Uh, if you have bats... Or Mario. Yeah, yeah, those are all good. Okay, uh, go ahead and spam anything related to bats, Mario's, or oh no, that will work. Best of luck to the players. We've got a game that is very much a game coming up right now. As soon as I see movement in the first stage, I will start our timer. <laughs> the sound effect, it's too good. Oh, I love that scream. It's so good. Now, Tina, I do have to warn you, I have a sandwich here. I'll try to move the microphone away from my face as I eat. That's I mean, my warning. as long as you're enjoying the sandwich, I don't object. Okay, okay. Okay, so uh, I guess I should point out uh, hitboxes, not very kind in this game. Like, to be fair, I'm a little bit confused what's going on right now. Okay, so depending on which system 
you're playing, uh, there are a few different possible stories. Okay. Uh, all of them involve secret Soviet submarines in the New York subway or subway uh, sewer system. So that's cool. Um, <laughs> so it might be that Sewer Sam is a, a, a city services worker who has Ooh. been sent underground to deal with these secret Soviet submarines that have been Soviet invading. Soviet subs, why? That's right. The Soviets, they've invaded the sewer system with their submarines. Oh, I hate when In they the do sewer that. system. So you might be a city worker who's very brave and who's going to clean up the sewers. You also might be somebody who was trying to have a date with this girlfriend who fell in the sewer and can't get back out and has discovered that there are Soviet submarines in the sewer system. Oh no. And given that this is the New York sewer system, that second one really rings true because you are somebody who was out on a date with his girlfriend who just so happens to have a revolver. Well, I mean, you gotta protect yourself. It's in it's New York, New York right? Yeah. Yeah. We've had multiple games about New York today, I think. I like the sewer shark. Yeah, years so, and years before the game of that title from Sega. I, I need a little information on what I'm seeing as well with the gauges. So the number of helmets at the top left, that's your lives. You've got witches' yep. hats, which... Those are submarines. Okay, the witches' hats are submarines. You've got some weird gauge in the very middle at the top. That's how far into a given tunnel you've made it. Ah, gotcha. Okay, you've got bullets. Yep. That's how many bullets you have. Yep. Uh, you do reload. It just takes a while. Ah, gotcha. Okay, you've got molt, which is your score multiplier. I assume so. I never really figured out what molt is, but that would make sense. And then you also have air. Is that your health? Sort of. You will die if you run out of air. Okay. What else kills you? Well, I'm very That confused. was extremely quick. Nice. Um, I I didn't actually expect to see a submarine kill for a little bit. It took me at least 20 minutes to find one and it promptly killed me um, when I was <laughs> testing this game out. My first submarine kill was close to 40 minutes in. Really? Yeah, so these players are doing extremely well. Wow, three minutes in, more progress than you made in 40 minutes. Tina. I never it's... claimed to be good at video games. No, in fact, you are I so frequently claim the opposite. Oh no, it looks like Julian also got a kill. And a game oh, no. over. Yep, and yeah, Liz that's is the thing. On they, they only have one kill at this point. So yeah, are we judging so, based off of the number of kills? So kills are progress. Um, some bits of information that I found have indicated that three kills will finish the game, and some have indicated that three kills is uh, 10,000 points. If it ends the game, then we'll see a completion if somebody gets three kills. It is worth noting, however, that the deeper you go into the sewers, the meaner the enemies become. Now, I did feel a little bit nice, and all of a sudden I'm kind of regretting that. Um, I let the players play on difficulty three. Uh, three out of four, so, you know, I figure it's a long weekend. I a should little let them kindness. Have fun. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of kindness. Uh, when I was testing on four, I've never gotten three kills, so I don't actually know whether or not this game ends at three kills. <laughs> Okay, so you were playing on difficulty four. That might be why they've gotten kills and you never did. Or you did, I mean, but it took it's, a while. It's, it's also possible that, that I'm just bad. I mean, while that's true. So now everybody who's gotten one kill is now learning about the wombo combo that the game starts throwing at you. Uh, spiders that throw their webs to freeze you in place while you have to deal with uh, with flies that come in and murder you. Oh boy. Hey, we will just got a sub kill. Oh my gosh. This is 
This is tense, this fight that Jean Jean is going through. So where do you even hit the sub to kill it? The only place that you can do damage is if you manage to shoot the missile as it's being loaded into the launcher. Ah. Also, it's pretty fickle about actually counting that. I say as Jean Genie gets two hits consecutively. Yeah, but then miss the next one. So, now I see the fickle nature. Well, given what we're seeing, now A, I'm really regretting difficulty 3, and B, really hoping that it does just continue forever, because, oh boy. But that's only one kill. We still have plenty of game left. Oh, is that... has has Gene Genie game over since the first one? Yes. Uh, yes, he has. Okay. I was sweating there. Tina, don't worry. No, oh, worrying is kind of what pain. I do, though. Oh. Well, yeah, that was the hope. So I'm a little bit confused what actually hurts you in this game and what kills you. Because we've got, like, spider webs. I don't think those hurt you. Do the bats hurt you? So, there are two different types of bats. There are bats that murder you, and bats that pick you up and take you back to the beginning of the, the tunnel that you're in. Those blue bats are <laughs> big bats. They pick you up and they move you back. Uh, which is real bad when you're low on air. Oh yeah, that definitely wouldn't be good. You'd die pretty quickly. So the small bats, the black bats, can kill you? Oh, yeah. But and I see people running well. past them and not really having issues. Yep, that can happen. And then sometimes you can't do anything about it, especially when you've been <laughs> wounded. Oh, I love it. Maybe, maybe it's the web-bat combo. There we go, Julian just got web-batted. Yeah, the web-bat combo is really, really mean. Yeah. Oh, and Weebobo might, that might be the first suffocation death that we've seen all match. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Liz, I, or er, not Liz, Tina. I often That's complain true. about video games and sewer levels, but this whole video game is a sewer level. That's true. Yeah, it's, um... It's basically everything that you hate. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. So uh, how are you enjoying it? I actually kind of like the idea of the sewer being integral to the story. Uh, I, I'm going to be honest. The fact that you're going down here and looking for submarines uh, in a sort of Cold War sense, it's awesome. Yeah, like, that's... The there. thing is, no other game actually uh, uses sewers for a story reason. They just have sewers all the time. You know, so this is story reason. I dig it. It doesn't matter that the story is just the Soviets put submarines in a sewer. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> okay, cool. Sounds like we're all on the same page. Oh, no. Ouch. Ooh, Gene Genie taken to death. I love that when you die, you say, ouch. Yeah, that's a, that's a good touch because it hurts. Oh, here comes the scream. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> Wait, if you play two player, does she go in there with you? I don't know. I... I have always been testing on one player. That's you a good need question. to do a quick test. I suspect test. that I, I can find out for you right now. Right now. I want to know. Oh, no. 
yeah, I'm I'm really curious if it's going to be like two player cooperative where you play at the same time or if it's just Sam and you swap off. Like it would be cool if it's a two player game. Ah, well, Tina is currently testing to find out. I have the worst news for you. Oh, no. They're just clones of Sam. J oh, come on. I want to be Pam. No, oh, Gene no Pam for you. just suffocated. Dang it. Oh. Do you play at the same time, or is it individually? No, no. It, it's uh, past the paddle. I mean, it is... What, MSX? Yep. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> Just a lot of this game is pretty amazing. So, does Sewer Sam work in the sewers or does he just fall in the sewers? Well, again, that really depends on which version of the lore you're following. Um, <laughs> if you're if you believe in the in television manual, uh He's a city worker. Uh, if you believe in, I think it was the Coleco Vision walkthrough that had the other story that I saw, he was on a date. Um, luckily, he has a hard hat and a pistol. That's always helpful when you're yep. going through the sewers, you know? Look, life lessons here. If you're going to go into the sewers, there's two things that you need. You need a hard hat and you need a six shooter. You know, that that sounds pretty reasonable. I'm not going to be a sewer worker, though. Let's go ahead and put that on my list of things that I am good without. That's that's your career no list? Yeah. Yeah, exactly, that's Tina. Fair. Like, I've already worked enough jobs. I don't need to add sewer worker to that. Actually, that's a good question. Anybody here? We've got 300 people watching right now. Are any of you sewer workers? Or have been sewer workers? Yeah, and workers? if so, is this, is this an appropriate representation of what it would be like as a sewer worker to handle a Soviet invasion of your local sewer system? Look like, looks like we generally only have generic, like, metaphorical sewer workers, not real ones. Sad. Mm, yeah, seems it. The scream! It's so good. It doesn't get old. Okay, I have officially finished my sandwich. I'm back. Congratulations. I believed in you. I knew that you could do it if you applied yourself. And gosh darn it, you achieved. It was so tasty. What kind of sandwich? Chicken. I need chicken sandwich. Okay. Oh no. I'm trying to think. So far... Pretty much everybody has gotten one one sub kill, and Lizstar is on to a second submarine with this life. This yeah, is looking this hopeful. Could be a lead change. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm loving this. This is so good. Okay, and it that looks, looks like, like a lead change. Very nice. Listar has killed two submarines 15 oh, minutes in. So the now game... it's time for hard mode. Oh, really? Oh, 
fewer monsters. There's so many monsters. There's so many. Oh, it looks like the sewer frog just ate Liz Star. That's not good. By the way, it looks like when the pink bar, when the bar at the top is pink and fills up all the way, that's when you get a sub. Which, if so, that means that Lizstar is on to her third submarine here. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I didn't pick up on that. Oh, really? Oh, no. Yeah. Gotta look for the pink bar, Tina. Apparently so. Yeah, the manual only indicated that it's how deep into the current tunnel you are. Well, I mean, uh, this is a manual for the MSX. Okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, you make a good point. Oh no, I heard a death on Gene Genie's screen. It looks like Lizstar has taken down another submarine. And it looks like Lizstar has finished. Yes, now we get to find out if this loops or not. Oh, Gene Genie just fell. Oh, patriotism, always good. Oh, how nice. He looks pretty happy. Oh, it's another. Oh, and it loops. yep, we've got a loop. I'm so happy. Very nice. It looks like it might actually increase in difficulty as well, if I'm not mistaken. Look at all of these other mice. Yeah, They're not is, frogs. This is real good. Are they mice? They're, I don't know. They're sewer monsters. They are mice. They're really They're fat mice. mice not, not but the right way, but I get it. Yeah. They're really fat mice, but they're mice. Like, they need to go on a diet. Yeah, here's the deal. Every time you go on a date, maybe you should probably try going somewhere else. You know, don't go back to the same sewer place. Being like, hey, I had this traumatic life and ended up having to stop all of these Soviets, but guess what? We're just right back in it. Well, hear me out. I think that what's happening is that Sam, our good friend here, our good, good friend, he goes through this thing, he saves the world, and his girlfriend was waiting for him. She was really worried, and so he runs to her to give her a hug, and he falls back in the same sewer. This isn't a new occurrence. This is just a Sideshow Bob-esque loop. Sideshow Bob. Okay, so I'm looking a little bit for information about this game. Sewer Sam for MSX, this was developed by Interphase Technology, uh, which I don't know if we've actually had any games by them except for Squish'em. Yep. Which is another game that you gave, Tina. Yep, sure is. Turns out they were really active in the MSX, ColecoVision, and IntelliView space. Oh yeah, it was also published by Toshiba EMI. Uh, yeah, and I'm you know, well known for games and not as a record label. Well, they published Hydlide, at least one of the versions. So yeah, that's I said cool. games. That's not. <laughs> ah, you know, only only the best games. They published something called Lucifer Ring. That sounds scary. You know what? I do not see uh, any uh, credits for the MSX version, but the programmer, at least for the Intellivision version, possibly the other one as well, is Steve Wiley. Steve Willie. Steve. Steve something. Who Steve worked on this game, and that's it. Wow, 
know, it's so sad to see somebody so young in their career produce a masterpiece and then retire on top. You know, that's probably going to be the best. I, I see some names, though. I found a Steve Willie who is working on other games. Let me see. In fact, there is a company called Incus Games who appears, and it appears to uh, be uh, run by Steve Willie. And Incus Games, they're currently uh, working on their debut game, Three Monkeys. So the person who programmed this may actually be putting out one more game now. Interesting. Yeah, that's exciting. They went. How many years? That's like 30 years later. You've made Sewer Sam, you wait 30, 35 years, then you make three monkeys. I like it. Has Liz so, even died? Liz is doing really on well. The, uh, oh, yeah, she. she oh, game oh wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a game over. Never mind. Blech. But, yeah, so I just noticed uh, the reason that the pink didn't. Uh, didn't stand out to me previously is because the bar filling up doesn't turn it pink. It just turns pink whenever you're at a sub. So there, it's not a direct indicator. As soon as you hit a sub, you're not allowed to continue on until you beat it. No, but I see people's bars turn pink uh, when yeah, they're they on do, a sub level. Yeah, they do, but you level. cannot turn them pink. Yeah, you're right. You can't. It just sometimes goes pink, and then there you go. And then it's fun time. It's it's fun Soviet submarine time. Yeah, everybody is on a pretty useless stretch of the sewer right now. It, it, it's understandable, you know. You just gotta gotta go through all the sewers and try to find. Try to find something. Okay, so I'm looking at Moby Games. I'm gonna go ahead and call this the definitive version because he is meeting his girlfriend Sally and then he falls into the sewer. So, uh, per the definitive version, he's not a sewer worker. There we go. But his it's only cannon. way to get out of the sewer is to destroy submarines. You know, go ahead and write mm, yeah, that, that down as sense. life advice right there. Yeah, if you ever see an emergency submarine and a pistol ever. sitting near after you've fallen into the sewers, that's why. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, after this game, he's definitely a sewer worker. What do you even do as a sewer worker? Just walk around and be like, Too many bats! Too many bats! Well, I mean, again, bats. this is New York. Do you feed the bats? So, like, shooting rats in an, in, in alleyways, like one of those New Yorker stereotypes. Like, everybody does that. That's just a Saturday. So wow. shooting bats in a sewer? That rhymes, even. Faizu, I am not insulting sewer workers. I'm asking what they do. Because as far as I know, you just... Try to not get hit by bats or flying spider webs, and then you take down the Russians. You know, that's probably the most important part. Protecting the New Russians, York against yeah. Soviets, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure that I think that Fize is being completely honest here. Claiming that this is not a simulator, but watching what's on screen, this is clearly a simulation. It's even 3D. Like, yeah, it's obviously a simulation. Can you imagine playing this in VR? It would be so immersive. Yeah, I, I can imagine that. I can also imagine vomiting pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also that. <laughs>
Oh. Are all sewers this green? I mean, cartoons would have me believe so. Yeah, same here. I just have never been in a sewer. Like, I feel like that needs to be something I do before I die. Are you the sure about that? I feel like that's one that you list. get to leave off of your bucket list. I don't know. Like, I feel... I would probably plug my nose the, the entire time. I'm not going to go out down yeah, there without yeah. a nose plug. Which, by the way, kudos to Sam for being brave enough to not have a nose plug. Yeah, but I mean, imagine going on a date with your girlfriend and then showing up with a nose plug on. That's... <laughs> that sends a mess. Yeah, you got a good point. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm I'm just fascinated with different jobs. And, uh, you know, like, I've snuck into the tunnels under the university here. Oh, do you have steam tunnels? We do. Oh no, Jean Genie just learned that black is not water. Yeah, it's oh, no. black is pits. Pits of doom. Want to watch out for those. Oh, and there goes Gene Genie into the pit. <laughs> yeah, I love... I appreciate it. him. He's doing us a great service by letting us listen to that wonderful sound clip. Oh, yeah, it's great. Uh-oh, it is a sub-tunnel. So that means that Gene Genie can make a little bit of progress if he can get down to the submarine. Yep. I haven't noticed anybody at two other than Liz so far, so this may either be a lead change or solidify his lead. I'm not sure Kate can can tell us because Kate is never mind. <laughs> oh, Weebubo is fighting a submarine right now. Yeah, I think and Liz has. Made it too. What's that? I'm also being told that Weebu made it to two in chat. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. It was a little while ago, but Weebu Bo definitely made it there to two submarines. So, question, Tina. I think I probably asked this before, but I forget. You didn't have an MSX as a kid, right? No, I had an Amiga, I had a C64, I did not have an MSX up until a little bit over a year ago now, I finally purchased one. So what drew you in? Why the MSX? So, okay, this is like really, really nerdy. Um, I like La Mulana, and La Mulana, let's be real, is very much a uh, Maze of Gallius game. So, of course, I purchased the MSX and a copy of Maze of Gallius because that's <laughs> apparently where I'm at in my life. Um, then I started going through the library, and it's it's real good! Um, not a lot of games that I would ever personally be willing to own, but a lot of games that I'd be willing to make other people play for an hour or so. I love it! Oh my gosh, I saw snakes. I don't think I'd seen snakes before now. But Julian oh, found some. Yeah. Wow, this is... Oh, this is getting exciting. Oh, it looks yep. like Gene Genie unfortunately has another tunnel without any submarine. You just really want to see the pink up at the top, and it seems fairly random whether or not you're going to get pink. Yeah, it, it definitely is. When I was testing out, I was much less lucky getting subs, although it might have been that I didn't realize the... Uh, the point of having a pink bar and I was just swapping too early. I mean, maybe. Wait, can you swap to another tunnel before you anytime reach the that end? You see, yeah, anytime that you see a door on the left and right. Oh, yeah. 
I'm thinking that the players have probably, some of the players may have figured that out at this point. That oh, pink yeah, is I good. Think so. Yeah, my strat was if I see water, I go as far down as I can and usually get upset and say words that I'm not allowed to say on your stream uh, because I didn't see a submarine. And if I don't see water, <laughs> then I just I, I dip into another tunnel as quick okay, as possible. Let's get out of here. This sewer is terrible. I hate this sewer. Hey, Weebo just killed three subs. Is out. It's on to the next loop. Let's see if we both and can move into first. Loop. Yeah, with four lives, that's that's a big advantage over Liz, who is down to her last life uh, going into loop two. Ouch. Oh, boy. I'm... Yeah, it looks like... Unfortunately, uh, Weebu thought that that was the end of the game, and then they saw that they got a loop. And they typed in chat. And they're, yeah, they're they didn't, not particularly they didn't seem a big happy. fan. Loop 2 is definitely rough. Like, there are tons yeah, of enemies is, everywhere. It is pretty darn hard. I'm wondering... This is probably a game that infinitely loops, and if so... I'm excited to see how it goes. Oh, Weebubo taking a death there. Definitely rough, but this is a sub tunnel. There's hope for Weebubo. Unfortunately, that is another death, and I believe that's a game over. Yep. Unfortunately, well, they were not able to make very it. very solidly in second place. Oh, yeah. There was hope to move into first, but it wasn't quite enough. It's brutal. Yeah, this game is real, real mean. I, I kind of like it, though, Tina. Like, here's the deal. You talk about games like this that you're like, oh, I want other people to play it. But for me personally, like, I want to play this. But I want to play Cabbage Patch Kids. And I want to play, yeah, like, half of your games, Tina, because I, this is what my childhood was like. I ended up playing like. this game for, like, four hours. Um, and I was up way later than a responsible human being should be as a result. <laughs> uh, the way that I know that a, a given MSX game is going to be good to give out is I realize that, oops, it's 5 a.m. now. Um, I've been playing this for an irresponsible amount of time. I'm having fun. That usually means that at least one of the players that I give it out to is going to be real mad by the end of an hour. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> oh, I am not mad at this game. I am very happy. Oh, no, the shark on Liz's side. Oh! <gasps> Turned into a sub! That's terrifying. <laughs> okay, Gene Genie is going up against a shark that turned into a sub as well. Like, I, I think everybody is starting to... They, they pretty much have a grasp on the basic rules of this game. Honestly, for the MSX, this game seems pretty competent. Not the best, but, like, it definitely has problems. And I think it's really, really hard. But it's got that MSX charm. I mean, you've got a Pac-Man yeah, face. Sure. One thing I do want to point out, just while we're talking about the way that this game is, is you know, the things that it does well. The fact that they're scaling sprites... This was a game for the MSX-1. That's unreal. That is such an impressive feat. Wait, really? Holy crap. Yeah. 
Yeah, and this is this guy's only video game. As far as I could see. Ouch. No, the tech was not wasted on Sewer Sam. It was fantastic. Great tech. I really wonder what the guy who programmed this did with his life before returning to video games 35 years later. Maybe one day we can know. Maybe one day somebody in chat, that's going to be your life. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's definitely what we need. We need a tell-all interview with the person who made the breakaway hit, Sewer Sam, and then disappeared into obscurity for 30 years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Only to come back with another breakaway hit. What was it? Three Monkeys? Uh-huh. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, it's been stipulated in chat that he was obviously hunting Soviet submarines in the sewers. I mean, the 80s, what a time, you know? Very dangerous in New York. Yeah, I mean, there was a hunt for Red October. This is the hunt for Green October. <laughs> I'm trying to eat chips, Tina. You said you were done eating your sandwich. I assume that you were done eating. I no, apologize. No, chips are not sandwiches. Do you know the difference? They can be. If you believe, they can be. Ooh, chip sandwich. No, that's okay. I'm almost done with my chips too, Tina. People in chat are absolutely right. You can put chips into a sandwich if you try hard enough. Just cram them in there. So I'm wondering, Tina, with how they're doing, I know it, that it sounded like you were a little uh, surprised by how much progress they were making early on. Yeah, I, I have some real regrets at this point. Uh, <laughs> mark my words, I'm never going to give the nice option again. Wait, this was the nice option? Yeah, yeah, uh -oh. I, I let them play on difficulty 3 instead of difficulty 4. Oh yeah, don't do that, Tina. What yeah, are you thinking? No, it was silly of me, and trust me, it won't happen again. I mean, every once in a while I do that myself. I'm like, you know what? You're going to hate me enough. I don't need... Like, I don't need to worry about sleeping. You know what? But all of these players have done pretty well in the past. If I'm not mistaken, this is a 17-point match. Which means that, you know, they've taken first and second in their first two matches. That's true, yeah. Yeah, no, I, like I said, I made a mistake. Um, I'll forgive you. What I can do is I can learn from my mistake, and don't worry, I will. Ouch. Also, yeah, it's being pointed out, you uh, you made fourth place people play Conan, which, while I maintain that's a good game, apparently a lot of people disagree or something. Was it I guess fun? A bad thing? It was fun. Conan is a super fun game, yes. They were not happy about that. <laughs> no, I don't understand why either. Oh, I have no clue. Oh, no. All right, Tina. I'm running for one minute. I'll be back. Good luck. Oh, gosh. Now I feel like there's a lot of pressure on me. I've been wished good luck.
I don't think you're supposed to know about this chap, but now that Brasinch is gone, I'm going to tell you Brasinch is actually out currently fighting Soviet submarines. Um, it's meant to be a hush hush mission, mission but uh, just so you, between you and me, you know, real secret here. Uh, that's what he's doing. So at this point, we've got two people who've completed an entire loop and two people who are getting, yeah, brick wall uh, on their second submarine, it looks like. It's, um, it's a tough game, and I didn't expect to see the progress as quickly as we've seen it so far. Uh, one of the cool things about Cusa Grande is just seeing how quickly people can adapt to a game and, and how much people can defy expectations regarding, oh, no. you know when there's pressure on it, uh, getting through a game quickly. Okay, I'm officially back. I didn't run to get dessert. Welcome back. But I, I don't worry. I didn't. I didn't give away any of your secrets. Uh, what? The 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 one thing that that you're definitely not doing. I didn't tell anybody you were doing that. So don't worry. What? I didn't. I didn't give them away. Don't worry. Well, now it's implied, Tina. That I didn't give them away. It's not implied. Well, that no. was expressly stated. No, you 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 implied what they are. Did I? Yeah. The jig I didn't is even up. Imply that they existed. Well, now you did. Well, I guess it's time for you to come clean about being a Soviet sub-hunter, then. Oh, yeah, well, so part-time, you know, 20 hours a week, I go down into the sewers and I'm just look around for subs. They don't really pay me. I also don't find very many subs. But, yeah, I'm sorry. You can never I'm, I'm be sorry. too careful. Yeah, it's, it's... it's a service that you're doing to the whole, to the community, to the world. You know, yeah, as it turns out... Uh, they told me last week that, you know, Utah's a landlocked state. It's not exactly very accessible by the ocean. And that I could stop going into the sewers. But I'm going to keep going for a little while just to make sure. That sounds like something that you would be told by someone who has a submarine in the sewer currently. They probably do, those jerks. Wow. Oh, oh my gosh, Tina. I, uh, I don't, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm just trying to think of what is probably the worst about this game. And I'd say that the scaling sprites are awesome, but unfortunately it makes it a little bit difficult to see exactly where things are going to hit you. Oh yeah, the hitboxes are terrible, and God help you if you ever have to walk backwards. Because when you get to the end of the tunnel, of course you can't progress, so you have to walk backwards to find a door. And you're pretty much guaranteed to hit something at that point. Oh, yeah. Just so people know, even if somebody ends up taking third in this match, well, I, I suppose fourth as well, there's still a chance of making it into the final bracket. It's not going to be out for anyone. It's just getting first will pretty much lock it in that you... Uh, make it into the bracket. I mean, I mean, taking fourth in your final match might make it a little bit more difficult. But, like, first and second have a pretty good shot of making it. Third, a little less of a shot. Fourth, it's still there, but it's gonna be hard. I like the sewer gator, though. I don't think he actually has any effect on the game at all. Oh, oh Gene no, Genie died. No, the will kill you. How? Well, all you have to do is hop into the water while the sewer gator is right there. It's a sewer. You don't hop into the water, Tina. Fun fact, you move slower in the water because of Sam's heavy boots. His boots? Wait, is They're that heavy. what the manual says? Yes. Can you wall jump in this game? Yes. Okay, this just became the best sewer game in existence. 
Like, absolutely. It's so good. Gene Genie now fighting a sub. Yeah, like, I... If your boots are so heavy, why can you wall jump? You know. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks, that clarified a lot. Happy to help. Oh, no. Oh, no. If only you had a sword. You could say, oh, no, my sword. Which is, like, the best voice clip of any video game. Ah. Oh. Well, you know what, Tina? We've got... Four matches of Cusa Grande tomorrow, and in addition, today we have one more match after this current one. Where what a great schedule! It's been a busy weekend, you know. Yeah, and I believe that. But man, what a what a good weekend for anybody who enjoys watching these blind races. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Lizstar takes down a submarine. Very nice. Like, right now, really, third and fourth is between Jean Genie and Julian. Whoever gets two subs killed will make a pretty significant amount of progress there. Yeah, and we're getting close to the point where making another loop is going to be difficult. Not impossible yet, but even with really good luck, you're looking at you're looking at a probably five, six minutes to make it all the way through the first loop, assuming no deaths. Oh, yeah. Like, we still have plenty of time. Oh. The best part of waking up is shooting Soviet subs. Yeah, that worked way better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> I'm not going to put sewage in my cup, okay? It's dumb. Good? Good. Yeah, yeah let's it's... go with good. It's just that's a little bit closer to what the normal song said. I just want to go with something that made sense for the plot of this game. <laughs> Faizu is trying to spread lies, as usual. Master Wait, of uh, lies in chat. Are you saying that, that it's a lie that you're not going to put sewage in your cup? No, that I'm not going to be sewage in my oh, cup. Oh, wait, okay, I see. Yeah, I misread that. Well, I, I'm... I that it just said the same thing that you just said. Well, I guess I'm also not going to be sewage. So it technically wasn't a lie, but... I suspect you're also not going to be in your cup. You would have to have a really large cup in order to fit... Just put you your know, hand in the person. cup. You're in the cup. I feel like there's a couple of ontological questions that have to be answered before I can agree to that. <laughs> I mean, we might also have to answer the question of what does it mean to be? Well, that, that would be yeah. the first of those questions, I suppose. Pretty deep stuff. Oh, Gene Genie, you gotta suffocate before the sub gets a chance to fire. Oh my gosh, how Oh no, fool! Oh, after blasting the hole in the ceiling, Gene Genie got air. some air. Oh, I like it. That was way too close. You know, people are saying the commentary got lewd, but I have no idea what they're talking about, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, I'm also not actually sure. So I'm. Let's move on from. Apparently, we're not a, allowed to talk about science in here. Oh no, science! Too lewd. <laughs> ah, well, you know, over the last little bit. Nothing has really happened. <laughs> yeah, that's like, true. Like, Gene Genie has a pretty good chance of moving into third here if he can manage to get down to the sub and kill it. 
yeah, with two lives, that, that feels very doable. Oh, yeah. I've got hope. Come on. Let's see what happens. Wow. You got so lucky with that one bat. Oh, well, uh, good. Oh my gosh. Gene Genie, now's your chance to move into third. Just don't suffocate. There we go. Okay. I'm glad that the bar at the top also shows your progress at destroying the submarine. There we go. Gene Genie officially moving into third. Very nice. Oh, no. This game so is good. pretty darn good. So, even if uh, one of the players comes in fourth, which somebody will, uh, they can still, if they do first in their next match, they will get 29 points total, which is sort of the uh, estimated breaking point between making into the bracket and not. Now, we may have to do a tiebreaker match or two, depending on how close everything is at that point, but, you know, that's something that we can worry about another time. Yeah, it sounds like the important thing is, this match, nobody is going to be completely out. Yep. Gene Genie's making a good run. We might see an end to loop one. That would be great. That would tie himself up with Lizstar and Weebubo, uh, which considering that Lizstar got to that point first, she is still considered in first place for this. Gene Genie. Gene Genie. That's the word. Gene Genie just needs to find a hallway with a sub in it is no this isn't it there's this no water oh, no. Are i just love the oh no when enemies spawn oh no okay oh let's gosh, start fighting so a sub oh no as has been said many times Yeah, if somebody found a loop 2 sub, that would be pretty significant. Okay, unfortunately no submarine in this. It's not a hallway, it's a sewer way. What would you even call a stretch of sewer? Given that we're walking down it, probably still a hallway. Okay, sewer hallway. A tunnel? No. Tunnel. Yeah, tunnel's good. Yeah, yeah, it could definitely be a sewer tunnel. The okay. snakes, Gene Genie, watch out! Oh, the snakes just touched Gene Genie sewer with their butts. Very oh, those snake butts. Absolutely deadly. <laughs> the scream! Oh, every time. So good. It's perfect. You know, maybe I should start going through every MSX game in existence and just playing them all. Because I think I would love them. There's, there's a lot of really, really good stuff. Um... Unfortunately, there's a lot of very middling stuff on the MSX. Um, for every game like what we see here, or like Can Do Ninja, or anything like that, I've gone through at least three or four dozen games that were kind of bad, but man, you it's just samey after five, ten minutes. Oh yeah, I, I can understand that. I mean, that's sort of the problem with every console, you know? You have a handful of amazing games you have a handful of amazingly terrible games and then you have wheelbarrows full of the mediocre stuff 
yeah, for sure. And I'm so sick and tired of playing Pac-Man clones. Hey, Julian has two subs, but that is a death. Game over. I think this is really everyone's last chance. I don't know if yeah, there's right. enough time. No, there's like four minutes left. Theoretically, somebody could still have some sort of change in the lead. I think a spider just turned into a spider web on yeah, they do. screen. Why? That's not they're, how spiders they're one work. One-use spiders. They're one-use spiders. One-use spiders. Science. Okay. Okay, I'll believe you. Where do you think spider webs come from? Spiders. Spider butts. It's science, Tina. Yeah. Biology. Biology, okay, Utah bio biological fact number 52. Spider butts make spider webs. It's true. Yeah, that one feels too close to true for it to be for it to be correct. Oh. <laughs> too it's close to true. Else. Ah. Yeah, that one's actually accurate. But we say it specifically in biology classes, spider butts. That's the Utah scientific name for whatever that is. That makes sense. Yeah. Actually, you can say it in Latin as well. Spidificurus butticus. That's the spider butt. So anybody who's one of Percentage's students, make sure you're taking notes. This will be on the test. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. Some of my students might be here. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Please forgive me for all the mistakes I have made in my life. Students. Oh, Don't okay. Worry. I feel like watching this, if anything, it's going to make your students appropriately scared of you. Ooh. Are you scared? Well, yeah, you run Cusar Grande. I'm terrified of you. Oh, okay. I don't have to yell oh, boo. No. <laughs> Is managing to forgive me homework? Yeah, you don't do it, you fail. Tina, it's a really good assignment. Yeah, I, love, I feel love like me or you fail. That that works out pretty well for all parties. Mm -hmm. You get a good grade, and I feel loved. It's perfect. Gene Genie taking down a submarine, but it's a little bit too late. Oh no! <laughs> oh, Liz Star is doing a small celebration here. Uh, Gene Genie has already gotten up to two sub kills, from what I believe, and that should be a third. Julian taking fourth, Liz Star first, and Weebu Bo second. And as it turns out, the clocks have stated that it is time, Tina. It's time. Very vocal clocks here. Wow. What a beautiful, amazing type of video game that we just witnessed here. Yeah, so I feel like everybody playing did a pretty fantastic job. This game is definitely rough. Uh, but they managed to just keep going and do their best. Liz takes the victory, Weebubo second, Jean Genie third, and Jillian in fourth. 
Cool. Yeah, what are your thoughts, Tina? Like I said, this is a game that I ended up playing for a lot of hours. Um, it's fun, but not in a fun way. Yeah, I, I could see that. I think that I would still have fun with it, and I would laugh every time I heard, oh no. Okay. Hello, Liz! Hello, friends! Oh my gosh, yeah, congratulations on today's victory here! Thank you! Yeah, so what are your thoughts of the game? I actually loved it. Like, that game is... it, it tickles my arcade girl sensibilities. Aww. Like, I spent... at GDQ, I spent literally hours upon hours playing the Tetris uh, arcade thing all all the time, non-stop. So, like, this kind of thing is something that I'd love to play and, like, try and get better and better at, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah I like the kind of games where they're repetitive and then slowly add in harder things. Yeah, honestly, you know, I think back to my childhood and I played a lot of games that were sort of similar to this style, but that's because I grew up, you know, originally with an Atari. Yeah, same. Oh, you too? Um, I had an Atari and an NES, like, at the same time. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, no, I, lo I love this game. Uh, my only problem was the, uh, RNG. I would call it the sub-RNG. Kate is apparently saying that there is no RNG, but... So, the, the shape of the sewer is fixed. Whether or not a sub shows up in a given tunnel is RNG. Okay, gotcha. Um, yeah, I, that was the only thing I feel holding this game back, was the sub-RNG. If it was, like, every two levels, that would that would be perfect. And it's like a mini-boss, and then afterwards they just add in more enemies. That would be, make this game, I mean, not perfect! Obviously, the game has its flaws, the hit detection can be a little wonky at times. Oh, yeah. Um, like, really wonky at times. Um, but it's... it's cute. Like, I love the scream a lot. <laughs> like, a lot, lot. And I love getting out of the sewers and pledging allegiance to America and then falling right back in. Oh, uh, well, uh, yeah, I... You know what? That's sort of what happens to me. It, you know, I've fallen in so many sewers in my life. <laughs> it's just not for all those girls, definitely. Oh, all those girls, you know. Never learning. That's our bro. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> I'm a moron. Oh. Um, I I almost had a freaking heart attack. Oh when no. Thirty sub. I, like when I got to the third sub, I'm like, this is going to be the only time I actually got to a sub. I'm freaking out. Because <laughs> we were told that three subs might be it. Like that might the game might just end, and if it ends, yeah, I. Done. You all got your first sub kill real quick. Oh yeah, and that was super fast. I immediately fast. felt regret for letting you play on level three. <laughs> and you're very sorry. lucky that I didn't test on level three, because otherwise I would have straight up just given everybody level four. <laughs> well, thank you, Tina. Yeah, thank you, Tina. Thank you, Tina. Always, always thinking about everybody else. Always thinking about the players there. Seriously, though, great job, Liz. Anything you want to say before we take off and get ready for the next match? Nope, game's fun. Play it. Okay, cool. <laughs> if you like, if you like shock, play it. Yeah. Well, take it easy, and thank you again, Liz. See you later. Bye, friends. Thank you, Tina. Catch you later. Yeah, thanks for having me. Well, everybody, this is Cusa Grande, the Bad Video Game Tournament. As a quick reminder... Uh, we do have more matches tomorrow, starting at the typical 2 p.m. 